All right, 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 all right. Yo, my people, welcome back to another episode of the Outchip Podcast. I'm your host, Jay, to the Izzon. I'm joined by... Mids MB, and welcome listen, back. You dress how you want to be addressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Okay. Yeah, yeah, looking, I mean. looking very smart. We got, we got bag getters in the room. <laughs> bag getters. We got LinkedIn influencers LinkedIn in the room. LinkedIn influencers. So, you know, this is going to places where you need to be... Presenting yourself well. Is that you why know? you're presenting yourself well today? Yeah, yeah I That's... can't be wearing a tracksuit. You know what I mean? Shut. Listen, 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 listen. Wait, 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 hold on. That's crazy because I work from home. I can wear whatever the hell I want. Ooh. Fair. Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry, that's what I'm gonna say. I was in the office today. To be honest. Yeah, yeah, that's why he's got the finest bro uniform on. Listen, the shade, the tie. But who do we have in the building today? Who do we have in the building? But uh, I guess, yeah, Corporate Steve, as a lot mm. of people know me. And um, yeah, man, just thought I'd uh, come back and visit you guys, man. Hey, I know yeah. I heard a couple of people are securing new bags. Yeah. I heard uh, a couple of people out here with um, iPhone 11s, but we're going to talk about that too tough. <laughs> and I thought this time I'll bring my twin with me. This wow. is the, the person responsible for all my content and my face blowing up. This is the brains, the brains wow. behind it. So I thought I'd bring her as well. So twin, introduce yourself. Uh, he would be bigging me up a Bit too much, but um, my name is Stephanie. I'm his right hand. I yeah, she's literally, she's literally my twin. Yeah, um, your edgy marketing girl, and also your one and only face on in- LinkedIn. Yeah, your LinkedIn influencer, <laughs> like mm. serious but LinkedIn yeah. influencer. But um, yeah, no, yeah, Steph is literally, you. yeah, literally yeah, no, my right. How do you person. guys find like posting consistently on LinkedIn? I know people struggle with Instagram, but LinkedIn, I feel like even more. Pressure. Yeah. yeah, I don't know, Steph. You, you can kind of cover this one. I've already yapped the first time when I came around, so I want to <laughs> give Steph all the spotlight in the world. But yeah, go on. Me? How do we post consistently on LinkedIn? Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I love posting mm. in general, so I don't see it as like a chore to post. I feel like um, making sure that you understand what type of content you want to put out and um, what you want your audience to kind of feel yeah. when you post content is key. But I spent up. He he taught me splitting up your content into different things will allow you to make your creative juices start flowing and you can create content like that. And it doesn't feel like, oh, yeah, I need to post, I need to post. No, it's like authentic. Mm. Um what would you say? I feel like more than anything, you just have to like yapping. I'm not going to lie to you. Like All, <laughs> the, all of that stuff yeah. she's saying is what she's saying to professional people. You just have yeah. to like want to yap and stuff. And I don't know, I feel like, obviously you guys see like, I talk on TikTok a lot, do you know what mm. I mean? And yeah. I, Sorry, we're going we're to get yeah, into that. I feel, <laughs> I, I feel like I have a lot of stuff to say, do you know what I'm trying to say? And obviously like um, a big reason as well why we talk a lot on LinkedIn is because um, it's linked to our business. Like our business, we're like a recruitment marketing agency in it. So it's mm. like, we are incentivized to make as much content as possible to drive traffic to people to apply for jobs for our clients and stuff. So that's the reason why, like, yeah, we kind of have to talk <laughs> on LinkedIn and stuff, <laughs> yeah. innit? Do you know what but I mean? So, but it's also fun as well. Yeah, like, And I think fun. in recent times, the reason why like, I always big up Steph is because Steph has allowed me to kind of like find the fun and being like creative as well mm-hmm. and not kind of like just making it seem like really dry and like related to work and stuff. So we kind of bounce off each other in that respect. But um, yeah, man, you just have to want to yap. That's what it is. <laughs> Yeah. Talk. Talk Fair shit. enough. Well, anyway, we've got a section that's for the yappers, you know, exactly. the hit blood section. So this section is just a couple of statements. Say the first thing that comes to your mind. He's going to go first. Uh, anyone, anyone. anyone. Yeah. Whoever I'll say the uncle first, guy. He's the uncle. The Sorry. wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, cool. The first one is being a frequent customer at the company you work for creates a tiny money loop where a fraction of what you spend might eventually come back to you. Huh? That's cap. That's so, cap. You, so you don't think if you like work for Tesco, eventually the money you spend at Tesco will come back to you? Nope. Unless I'm stealing. <laughs> Shut up. You're just stealing. Actually, even good to club cards. Straight stealing. I didn't say like, it, but I agree. Like, it's true. What else, how, you, how else are you going to get your money? Because those mm-hmm. silly little, um, I say silly little, but those employee share schemes. Oh, mm. yeah, I mean, that's that's one way of thinking about it. Nah, yeah, I think that's cap. Like, I think no, that's cap. You know what I mean? It goes yeah, back yeah, to you. Nah, 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 even nah, with nah, them nah. shares, bro, like, this ain't this ain't the real shares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not getting point, a seat no, at the no, table. No, nah, 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 that's cap, yeah. cap, cap, cap. All right, cool, all right, cool. I'll read the next one. 
All right, cool. So the next you one. switch on my brain because I was highly intellectual. <laughs> I, I need to actually listen. All right, cool. The next one is Pac Man played in first person virtual reality it would probably feel like a horror game. Huh? You know the game Pac Man? Where you're getting okay, chased yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine playing that, but in first person. Yeah, that's actually kind of mad still. Sure is. That's you turn around, no. you just see someone try to kill you. Yeah, that's Ghost. a bit crazy. Not me thinking of Pac Man TV, like the. <laughs> 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 energy, energy. Can't take this card nowhere. Oh, man. Freestyle. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Sorry, sorry. My brain, I listen, let me switch on my brain. Take no, that's it. hilarious. Taking that absolute place. No, man. These said bloods are working, man. Take, yeah, no. That's wild, because Joe is you know how, obviously, when you play Pac Man now, you can see the whole map. Yeah, yeah. The first person, you don't see nothing. That's crazy. It's just a maze. You just turn around, ah. <laughs> that's mad. And you're getting munched as well. As well like, yeah. yeah, no, that's crazy. That's not even much. You're just dying. Yeah, that's a bit scary. Because you're the fat man. Crazy. Yeah. That's nah. wild. Uh, cool. yeah. The last one is misleading information on social media can be pointed out and corrected quickly, but misleading information in books can take a long time to correct. Like, have you guys ever read a book and been like, this is on BS? Why is this still in publication? Mm. <laughs> I could have said a very dark joke. But I'm gonna keep it in. Uh, cool. what? <laughs> you can't, you can't say that and not say. Nah, that. nah, nah. nah I'm I can't. Do you know yeah? Because you see my mind sometimes. Like, obviously, it's it's a good thing that it works very, very fast because obviously, you know, like podcast content, mm. it's in favour. But yeah. then there's also that pocket where it's like, yo, intrusive mm. thoughts. Like, intrusive just, thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just like, Mm-mm, mm-mm. I want to hear it now. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. You, I, can't. Um, you, you I, can just bleep it. No, 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 yeah. no. Because no, it can't. We'll mess up the fuck shit. No. Cheers. This is my first time meeting Steph. It's true. No, I, don't I don't want us to meet. Steph. I don't want us to meet. Steve will understand. Steve might understand. And you might understand. But mm, listen, I don't even understand. Fair enough. So okay, there's that. Fair enough. Okay. But yeah, I don't think there's been a book that I've read that I'm like, this needs to be updated. Mm. I don't I've, really like Think and Grow Rich. You know what? I hate Rich Dad, Poor Dad. You don't I, like it? I hate that book with such a yeah. passion. Why? Do you hate how much people take it seriously or... Yeah, because I feel like it's everyone's like claim to... Um, <laughs> like if you want to seem intellectual, yeah, no, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But I think it's a bullshit book. I'll tell you why. So first of all, like Robert Kiyosaki, like, this guy's like in debt. Like first of all, that's number one. Mm. Yeah. Number two, if you actually read the book, this guy, this guy is literally saying, my dad was broke. Mm. And my friend's dad was rich. So fuck my dad. Like, literally, he's literally just cussing his dad out through the entire yeah, yeah. book. Because he's then, broke. Huh? Yeah, like, literally, that's the whole concept of the or book. Or, like, the I'm whole going to follow this guy. I'm yeah, follow this he literally guy. was like, I used to go to my friend's dad's house because my dad was basically poor and broke and stuff. And my, my dad's friend was the one that taught me how to be rich. But the reason why I just think the book is make-believe is because he basically starts talking about how, like, at nine years old, he's, like, um, rich dad. His friend's dad would teach him about, like, MBAs and stuff like that. And the book is just a whole bunch of bullshit. It's, mm. a, it's a bullshit book. Did you say NDA or N- MBA? is like, like, masters and stuff like that oh, at okay. nine years old. Because I like, thought you said NBA. So I no, was like, yeah, no, it's just it's just a bullshit. It's literally it. a bullshit book. Yeah. I think a better book is um, Secrets of a Millionaire Mind by T. Half Hecker. That's a okay. good book, very solid book. It's basically okay. an upgraded version of Rich Dad Poor Dad. But I just think Rich Dad Poor Dad is a because I see that all the time. Like I think the other day I was um I was putting books into like my wish list mm. for my bookshelf and I saw Rich Dad Poor Dad was like number three. And What's I was like, yeah, because because the, yeah. the book is ass. Yeah, the book is ass. But then I, was, I see a lot of people talk about it. Like some say it's great. You said it's no, ass. No, 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 no. I think everybody, everybody that says it's great. Just shut. Up. Would you say because of your background is because of that? Like, yeah, because like, you worked too far. Like, I, I, I think naturally I'm a bit of a cynic as well, mm. Mm. and I don't know. Like, I remember just reading the book and I, I was just like, <laughs> damn. Sorry. I remember reading the book and I was just thinking, who would believe this? St-? Like, mm. what are you talking about? But yeah. MBA's at nine. That's crazy. Yeah, like, oh yeah, teaching me about. It was just such a no, even sixteen. Up, it was a made up book. Yeah, it was. It was literally. I I know these stories were made up. Like, mm. I just know. Yeah, but to be fair, I think, and do you, do you know one thing I've realised, yeah, even if like, obviously off the back of what you just said about um, Rich Dad Poor Dad is about, mm. I feel like if your parents are broke, it's not a thing that, okay, I can't learn about money from you. It's yeah. just like, mm. these guys must have just been really hustling, like, literally, you know literally. Say? Yeah, at the same time, you have to unlearn things as well, yeah. <clears throat> like money habits that they might have. Yeah, certain money habits, but then... Sometimes. You have to put it into context, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So like, you know, when we talk about like struggle meals and all that sort yeah. of stuff, yeah, I can list off struggle meals, isn't it? Yeah. Like I know I can make a free course dinner mm. out of Indomie. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 of course, yeah, of course, man. Indomie yeah. and corned beef, like oh, I had that standard. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 still struggling. Bro, like, like iPhone 11. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Oh my god! 
<laughs> yeah. But like, we've got the USB C. <laughs> Crazy, oh, bro. Man. What? Man. You're thinking it records 4K or like. Of course. You sure? Yeah, sure? That's not your rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was on 720, my yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Wow. That's it. Wow. This ain't no Android, bro. No, but like, yeah, so what I was going to say is, yeah, like, obviously, you have to put it into context because, for example, in my house, there was like six of us. Mm. Yeah, about six of us and a single parent household. Mm. So really, it's like, even if, even if, for example, my mum was on like 70K, to feed six kids and then like do the bills and all that sort of stuff, mm. it's not going to stretch it's the same really way. Money management, 60 k it's just, there's not a lot of money. There's exactly. Money. So then it's like, I, I'm not going to call my mum broke because she wasn't broke, mm, yeah. but it's just like someone else to rich dad, poor dad, that might be seen as like, oh, Nah, I can't get the latest games or I can't do this so my parents broke but then Timmy's dad who only has his only child mm. and both of his parents are on 30k that could yeah. be a, do you know what I mean yeah. yeah I just I don't I just think that because just yeah. and I think because it's such a this is going to make it seem like I'm calling everyone dumb but because it's such an easy book to read and comprehend yeah. I yeah. can see why it's so easy for everyone to be like yeah that's a good book and then like when it's like the third when it's like the third best selling book and because yeah. everyone says it it, it yeah. becomes a thing where like you just say it's good because everyone else is saying it's good mm. do you know and I ah, this might sound crazy but I feel like that's the same with work mm. you elaborate the, same with work. the way you said that everyone because everyone says it's good, it must be good. But in reality, it's not good. Mm. With work, sometimes, like, I'm not going to lie to you, I was hoodwinked. Like, what, when to I, go into the corporate world? Yeah, because I, I probably shouldn't have done it as soon as I should have. Don't Actually, get me wrong. Yeah. Apprenticeships are great. Like, yeah. you guys should all go to apprenticeships. However, for me, it wasn't what I expected. Mm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Why did you say that? Because I feel like there were just, there were times where, obviously... Maybe I was given a bit of grace because I repeated in sixth form. So I didn't go in at 18, I went in at 19. So mm. one more year of wisdom or Tom Fury, however you want to see it. But there were certain times in the office, yeah, where like things would happen and it's like, I'm still a child, bro. I don't really know how to navigate yeah, how do, this. It's or... true. It's kind of like you have to low-key just grab straight away. And it's interesting that you say that because even me, even though I went to uni... I remember like still going into the corporate world, there was a certain element of growing up I had to do. Bro, yeah. I used to do dumb shit. Like I would literally be filming like my manager on Snapchat. <laughs> and I didn't, I wasn't reading the room. I was just like, yeah. bro, like what are you talking about? Or like, mm-hmm. you know, casual Friday, I'm putting up like swagged out. Yeah. And mm. back then as well, I was still finding my style. So I used to dress like a maniac, like colourful clothes, like, like the whole co- shebang. And every, wait, what are you, you going to say? I was going to say like a Congolese uncle or something. Oh, like oh, like he still dressed. Yeah. What's wrong? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> damn! <laughs> you, know, it's like, you shouldn't be on camera. Go on camera. Like, pew pew. It's like, it's like, <laughs> but yeah, no, I still feel like there's a lot of like growing up that you still have to do because the corporate world is like predominantly full of adults. Mm. Yeah, like one of like my dogs in the office. He's like 52, bro. He has children really? your age. Yeah. yeah. Shout, hey, shout, <laughs> shout out Leroy, bro. Listen. And you have to be doing like passive aggressives with him, like if you if the, if something kind of pops up and stuff like that. To be fair, he's black, so he kind of gets it. Fair play. He's like, you know, yeah, he's like one of these like old Caribbean men or whatever. So he, yeah, he, he kind of yeah, yeah, gets fair. it. Fair. But yeah, there's other times I've I've been in a chiz and I'm like, how the hell do I? Like, what do I do? Exactly. Yeah. What do you do? Yeah. And that's why you're here on the Outchair Podcast because we have some corporate dilemmas for you guys to solve. Fair play. Listen, fair play. we're gonna read it off. I don't know if you guys like that se- uh, segue yeah, or that was not. Segue, that was a good one. Um, I even like the way you tied it in with work. Yeah. 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 yeah and got... I was, I wasn't. That was all authentic. Like, I was... Hey, bro, you should start a podcast. I don't know if really? you're gonna fall about it. Yeah, bro. Somebody was told you. Yeah. What should I call it? Yeah, because I'm always out. Ooh. Oh, out That's crazy. Mad. Huh? Oh. I, we, don't, we don't just get it now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, we're here because the people have submitted some dilemmas. So, for the first one, it is saying, is it normal for your manager to ask you to change your name? Hmm. So, it says, I recently joined a tech startup as a junior SDR. I can't lie, <laughs> the pay is shit and the commission is rubbish. But with the way the job market is looking right now, I have no other choice. And I need to get my foot in the door, which is understandable. Fair play, smart guy. Two months into the role and things are very slow. The job involves a lot of cold emailing, but I haven't been getting any responses at all. So during the once one with my manager, he suggested that I change my name from Praveen to Patrick. Ye. I, I genuinely thought he was joking at first and laughed out loud, but he had a straight face on the inside. <laughs> what? He told me that the kind of customers we are going after, they're more likely to, to, to respond to someone with an English sounding name. Is this not racism or am I bugging? Mm. It is. Ugh, this one's a bit of a mad one because I think Steph, you even posted something. Yeah, I did because my friend actually recently. went through um, that same situation, um, 
her manager actually said, um, your name is too... What did she say again? Her, her name is too... Something. Too African. Too exotic. Like, too, too, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. Too spicy. Like, <laughs> he basically asked spicy. her to send over all her work to her colleague because she has a British name and then send it to the company so that they can actually like liaise with the client and stuff. It's like a dilemma on top of a dilemma. Wait, wait, wait. Too much going on, calm right? calm down, wait. Right? Do you know what? I'm going to... Let's... You know Okay, let's answer Praveen to Patrick yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. go. Yeah. That's I can't that's, lie to that's you. That's wild. That's very wild. It's wild, but I kind of hear it. Like, are I, you trying to succeed I, or are you trying to keep your what? integrity? <laughs> that's all you need to ask yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is why he I'm not saying you should. I, 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 I told you, <laughs> you capitalist. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I'm, I'm about the Benjamins, baby. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> you want that commission? <laughs> He wasn't like this before the job, you know. He wasn't like this. This guy yeah, was like, free the people. Literally, bro. I was going to say, like, I wasn't going to say I hear it, because that's wild. That's yeah. crazy. But I was going to say, like, unfortunately, these are the realities of the corporate world. And I think mm. I, I was literally on an interview today, and um, they were kind of saying that, you know, it's the onus of these, like, big companies to, like, change, you know, black people getting into the working world and whatnot. But you have to understand that these corporates, they exist to make money. That's what they care about. Yeah. That's all they care about. Mm. And they have a lot of powerful people at the top that they answer to in which they need to make money for. And that is just the reality, bottom line. So that manager saying that, obviously very brazy to say that, but it's like, he's on some, nah, real shit, bro. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, like real shit, bro. Like, look at, like, <laughs> <laughs> change it. <laughs> no, but just, 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 man said he laughed out loud and the manager was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. I don't change it. <laughs> Bro's at pad up. Stop. Okay, like, if, if, you, <laughs> if you guys were the manager, this guy's sales are terrible. Yeah. And you know he's like he's good at touch. <laughs> he's got good at touch. How would you tell him what would you tell him to do? I'll just suck him. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> You're choosing between two evils. I'm, I'm, I'm choosing the evil way right? he keeps his job. That's what I'm saying. Do you know what? I oh, go on. I was going to say, if you were Patrick though, how would you respond to that? Um, not Patrick, Praveen. Praveen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know is, uh, did you just call him Patrick? No, sorry. That's crazy. <laughs> He's already <laughs> started. He's already changed. He's already changed. Slowly, but surely. Oh, it's like, when are you No, I'll next, right? I think, do you know is, I'd, uh, I, I think he's joking as well. But if I was a manager, I wouldn't say change it to Patrick. I'd say like, maybe Prav. Like shorten it a bit, maybe. Oh, I think telling someone name. to change their I name is. Like, I think, I think, I think telling be, someone to change their name is crazy. It's, brazy, it's just with the email, not even linked to just the email. No, <laughs> no but it's like, who's, is it, it's true. Maybe I know you it's true. Maybe name. you can. No, maybe, no, yeah, maybe, is, maybe you can no, change. No, 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 no. Go on, say what you're gonna say. No, say what you're gonna say. I was gonna bait up my government, but people know earlier. People know exactly. What's your government? No, it's Jude. Yeah. So I'll just use. Yeah, I'll use my Nigerian name. What's your Nigerian name? Shego. Oh yeah, that won't fly. Exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They'll be calling me gun, like <laughs> say gun. <laughs> I I no, I I did that's what I saw. <laughs> I said say gun? <laughs> Violence? <laughs> what? This is a show. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Do a nah. bit of research, find out for a peckham. That's it, I'm done, man. Nah. Like the thing is, I think obviously not as extreme as what Jude said about I hear it, but it's like it's just a reality. Yeah. yeah. It's like the reality. It's like these people are incentivized to make money, and unfortunately, it just gets like that. And yeah, that's a bit brazy. And honestly, like I feel like if I was in that situation, obviously it's it's hard, but I would just look for another job. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, yeah. that's just the reality. Like you just have to. But just have the to way he up. said it, he said like the job market's hard. Yeah, like you yeah, yeah, really yeah. Get yeah. Oh, so what he could do potentially is actually call a team meeting mm. and then suggest that they go through um, different procedures of. Spelling, saying his name, mm. you know, but like they're not, training. But, but, but it's most of the people outside. Yeah, but that no, but I think that's the difficulty. The dilemma is that they're basically saying, "Look, you're not making sales because the because of your trying, name, bro." Yeah, the we like you, but so, the so customers. Not, yeah, it, so yeah. it's not even the inter- it's not the company saying we don't. Like, it's like, look, bro, hey, you cool. number. Say <laughs> <laughs> like, making the box. You know, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I would if that if that was me. I'm not changing it to Patrick. I will just on the email P. P mm. and the assertive. But your son is. Listen, listen. Oh, man. I think this is a wild place. I'm like, I'm actually not safe here. Like, I think, yeah. I, honestly, I think, yeah, maybe shooting it to P or Jude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
What's going on? Like, uh, this This is a serious meeting. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you say a lot about it. <laughs> You're not making money. Like, <laughs> uh, you know, before you read that dilemma, I actually had the exact same, not about the name, but like where he laughed and the manager's been serious. <laughs> and this is the thing, yeah. With me, I would laugh in pretty much any situation, especially yeah. if something is like outwardly a lie. Like wrong yeah. in it, so I go into this meeting with my manager, and um, long story short, someone reported me in it. Um, my team report me for like being like lazy and other stuff, which ah. is out of character, completely out of character. Yeah. yeah. So when he was saying this, he's like, "Oh, um, yeah." He was reading off the charges, and I was just laughing because I was like, "This is not." You know, yeah, when this it's is, like this is just so blatantly a lie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And he was like literally straight faced, and I was like, "Listen, I'm gonna tell you why I'm laughing." Yeah. And then I literally went charge, 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 charge. Not guilty. Mm. Fair play. Literally. Vindicated. 100%. I love that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. when he was listening off, I was, ooh. Yeah, yeah. It's like I was watching Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> belly laughing. <laughs> nah, that. see, I, yeah, that, that's a bit wild. Yeah. Imagine someone just saying, yeah, change your name. Just the first. That's. Like, no, but then if you put P and then whatever his last name is, how do you know his management say, right, yeah, about that? Can we just show it to like P you and know then what I mean? F? I feel like when you I feel like, people I don't know. incorporate, like, um, when Maybe you break right. your boundaries, mm. they'll just start taking a piss. Yeah, because if you told him to change it to Patrick, you might as well just tell him to change his surname. Yeah. yeah. You might as well become Barry Allen, bro. Yeah, uh, like... And then like, start cut your dress. Like, yeah, like, then it's like, yeah, it's just yeah. like, yeah, That's crazy. it's a bit wild. Like, it's, yeah. <sighs> All right, crazy cool. stuff. So the next dilemma is a rescinded job offer. So cool, I've finished... Sorry, hold on. Re what? Rescinded. <laughs> <laughs> no, you. That's you. Oh, you're not going to talk about that. That's you. What? You're wearing a big, big suit and you can't say it rescinded. Is that not what I just said? Rescinded. Are we hearing it? <laughs> <laughs> no, what, what, I'm not hearing it. I'm not hearing it. Rescinded. Uh, what is it? It's like different accents. London Res- accents. Nah, mm-mm. No, 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 okay. We're the same ends. <laughs> okay, no, you say it. Rescinded? I'm saying rescinded. Okay, fair enough. That's that shit, man. Like, well, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, bro. All right, cool. So I finished uni in 2023 and completed the internship straight after. I was told they would not be hiring this year, but guaranteed me a place for September of this year, a couple months ago. They have rescinded my offer, huh. <laughs> leaving me in a tricky situation as I have minimal experience. I have not worked for a year as I assumed I would have a job in September. What should I do? Just got to charge it. Nah, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> no, but you actually have to charge no. it. No, wait. Is wait. It says job offer, right? Not yeah. contract. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, because it just if, said job offer. If it's a contract, then obviously legal okay. compensation. But if it's mm. an offer, delete yeah. email, bro. Like, <laughs> no, but like literally, yeah, no, no, like, yeah. hope it's in writing, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of it, at least. Yeah, it's so mad though, because even contracts, it's it's literally not that deep. Like, because I always say this to people, like you know, if you. If you were in a situation where you were negotiating that like, job offers, yeah, 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 and the job actually eventually just pressures you, like, oh, sign the contract, sign the contract, mm-hmm. um, and you don't have time and you sign the contract, you don't have to start the job. No one's going to beat you. Like, mm-hmm. just because you signed the contract, you don't have to start the job. Like, legitimately don't have to. Mm. Um, so I don't think it's that deep. But in this situation, I think you just have to charge it. Like, it's like, what, what, what can you, techie, yeah. what can you do? And wait, so he's, he hasn't. Worked, oh, yeah, he's a uni student. Yeah. yeah. Oh, do you know what I mean? He's probably even planning how to spend that first paycheck. And, yeah. Okay, cool. I'll do my overdraft. Or, or maybe like I'm just gonna focus on uni. I'm not even gonna apply for internships. Yeah, I know yeah, I've yeah. got this you one sorted. Yeah. yeah. Hey. I think I, I'm not gonna lie. Though, I feel like the corporate world is a bit glamorized as well. Like I think a lot of people like. The automatic thing you think about when you come out of uni is I need to get a corporate job, but it's like you don't, you don't have to. Yeah, yeah. Like you don't have to because it was what we were kind of like talking about initially about how you f- you felt hoodwinked. So I think yeah. the corporate world, there's like literally a finite amount of jobs. There's not that much jobs for mm. the amount of people that are graduating and are just in the job market. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, bro, touch grass, go get a retail job, chill out for a bit. Yeah, it's okay. Like mm. kind of thing. Well, do you not? Know, can we say that for black people though? I don't know. What, what you, know, you can't work a retail job? Because no, I'm saying like experience wise. Cause you know we have to work harder a bit. Yeah, but it's like, but it's, like it's just like it's like you have to like if you're doing this corporate thing, like let's be real, like if you're gonna just work, you're gonna work for twenty years or so. Yeah, yeah. you have time, chill. And also, I think you just need to know, like with the whole experience thing, I, I get it, we do definitely have to work harder than yeah. the next person, or whatever. But also, you got to know how to twang your experience. Mm. Because for me, I only did hospitality before I got into my role now. Yeah, yeah. and 
what? I'm, I've, I've milked it. Yeah, so, and about... even me as well. Like, I didn't like a lot of people think like you know these corporate industries I worked in. Like I must have banged that internship. I did not. I did not know. I didn't even know internships were like a legitimate thing in yeah. the UK. Yeah, same. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think, and that's because obviously I went to like a non Russell group university and da, 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 so I wasn't doing. Mm. But I literally just thought, wait, what are you gonna say? Non Russell group. Wait, he's about bro, to. Let's, let's not. Sorry, <laughs> 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 Do you know what's funny? We both didn't go to the We both went to the Norris. Did you go to the Norris group or you went to like a yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah. Wait, Wait, I went to the Norris group. Where'd you guys go? go? I went to Northampton. I, that, you can't even call that a Norris You just have to that's call it something. A, that's just, <laughs> that's just, that's <laughs> just a non union. Yeah. <laughs> just an institution. You have to yeah. call it a place. Just, yeah. Yeah, where, just, where did you go? I went Aston. I thought like Aston's oh, still kind of low key up there. Still kind of low key up there. Close to Redden. Where? Mm. Where'd, like you yeah. Where'd you go? Oh, Ravensbourne. What is it? Sounds like what? <laughs> I, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I went Ravensbourne. Huh? What's yeah. it? Who? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Yeah. No, do you know, it's, it's a it's a uni specially made for like the creative arts, basically. So if you want to do anything like in terms of fashion, TV, film, whatever, it's like one of the best in the country. Oh, okay. So what are you studying? Computer science. <laughs> <laughs> That was, <laughs> that was such a set up. I was waiting for it. Oh. I was waiting. Well, I don't do film. <laughs> that was so unprovoked as well. I don't do film. That Why is did you give us all that? that is, oh, it's the best that's 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 that I In every Mikado, No, but it's true though. Like, like David, David Bowie went there, you know? Uh, like, uh, Eddie Kurtis. Huh? Eddie. <laughs> Let's start over. Let's start over. Steve, please read the next one. Yeah, you want me to read the next one? Steve, read the next one. Damn. Okay. All of a sudden, hot in here. Yeah, that's yeah, brazy. Uh, wow. Okay. I'm currently part of the ERG group at work dedicated to helping black people. For the non-corporate people, like you guys know what ERG is, isn't it? No. Well, ERG is basically like you know at work they have like all these like different groups for like extra Oh, is that like ethnic something? No, it's just like ethnic, they call it like an employee resource group. It's just like for extracurricular. Oh, so there'll be like oh, one okay, dedicated okay, to helping okay. black people. There'll be like one dedicated to like sports, like just yeah, little extra yeah, yeah. curricular stuff in it. So yeah, I'm currently part of an ERG group at work dedicated to helping black people. My responsibility is events and employee engagement. So as Black History Month is coming up, I'm trying to plan talks and events to celebrate. Every time I try to get any sort of plans in motion, nothing seems to progress or get signed off. I recently got frustrated and decided to escalate the situation to the most senior person in the company. Senior management basically told me they'll not be celebrating Black History Month as it's not seen as a business priority at this point in time. I was told that my approach to escalate the situation was disruptive and I can't shake the feeling of being labeled as the aggressive black girl, which is actually pissing me off. Run. <laughs> that, that's, that's very loaded. Disruptive. I'm saying, I'm saying run immediately. Wait, but... disruptive to what? That's that's loaded. What? I guess they're saying it's yeah. yeah, I guess they're saying 100%. it's disruptive. So you were like the end of the year, you have deadlines to meet or end of the financial yeah. year. You know, it's like, you know like... that scene in Get Out where it's like run. Yeah, that's 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 <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. that's what it is. Cause Did they even try to hide it? They said it's not listen, we don't Hey, 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 yeah. hey, stop that. Hey, they just said, hey, cut we that. We don't do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 we're just about to tell you to change your name. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't, oh don't you flip in there. It's exactly. mad though, because like, even now, like, you know, like, obviously the nature of like what we do for businesses is that we're basically trying to get these employers to do like DEI initiatives and stuff like yeah. that. And that has been getting cancelled a lot. Like, you know what I mean? We're seeing mm. that all the time now. So it's like, I'm not even surprised. Like, that's crazy. You know I'm surprised. Mean? Mm. I'm, I am. I'm, I'm not surprised. Because literally, like, companies have gone on record and said, because what they've done, so obviously, you know, like, back in 2020, George Floyd, da, 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 mm. da, all these companies like, yeah. And we they started want... putting them little brown circles on yeah, the yeah, yeah. stuff. Yeah. We want to help black people, blackout, da, 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 and yeah. all these companies jumped on that. And then now, what's kind of happened, it's mad though, like, what's happened is that all these companies are just not performing really well financially. Yeah. yeah. And instead of them to, like, just take accountability, like and say, oh, you know, we're just doing bad financially, the economy. They're like, what can we blame? So now they're the like, now yeah, they're like, so, out. so they're like, yeah, like you know, actually, this DI going. thing has actually just been making us like distracted from yeah. like these financial. Well, not even making money from it, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're the like, worst performing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're just not making stuff up. Like, <laughs> so, yeah, how, yeah, how, yeah. How convenient. Mm. Yeah. So literally, like, a bunch of companies have literally gone on record and said, oh yeah, it's not a business priority for us right now, so we need yeah. to focus our thing and da 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 da. 
that's Which that's is crazy. Dumb. Yeah. yeah. Be- oh, but when it comes to that Christmas party, <laughs> like er- er- everything. Hey, is what? Hey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey. Oh, come on now. Everyone's <laughs> doors <laughs> loose. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's true, man. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Yeah, that's a bit mad. But it's like I don't know. Like, yeah, I'm just not surprised in it that stuff like that is. Um, I'd is, personally, to whoever's sending that lemma, look for a new job. But yeah, the thing is, man. I don't know. Everyone's looking for a new job. That's what job. I'm trying to say. Yeah. Like, I don't even think that's even a solution. I genuinely yeah. think it, what I genuinely I think is that a people. Yeah, yeah. But no, become a LinkedIn warrior, like Steph. No, honestly. But, but what I, I think is that I don't know. I feel like. As people that exist in the workforce, not even black, mm. just people in the workforce, we need to actually like manage our expectations. Yeah, we are in the matrix. Rem- remember we, what we said? No, no, no. I, no hold on, let me land. Let me land. Let me land. Let me land. Yeah, go on. We are in the matrix. <clears throat> we are working for the man. Mm. As much as I oh, yes, bring yourself to work and you shouldn't stand for this. You are playing by someone else's rules until you leave that place. Facts. Mm. So if that being said, it's kind of like a yes, of course. Like, how many times are you gonna go look for a new job? How many times are you gonna move? Listen, I- have you always been like this, by the way? What like um, this sounds like you know like when you're younger you're like I want to change the world and then like you get to a certain oh, age like no, the world is that. the world I need no, to look no, no, I, think, I need to look out for me and the no. people I love <laughs> no, no, no I think, yeah. I, yeah, I think that's I've, I've always been on that like in oh, terms no. of like I can't complain all I can do is just do yeah. my part but, yeah. so like for me it's like I'm just mad dramatic that I said oh you know what fuck it, I'm gonna quit my job and go and try to put people on but it's like yeah. what's complaining gonna do what's leaving job gonna do it's like th- this is always gonna happen in a new job yeah. and da, da, da. so I think with that being said it's like it not to even get controversial why do we even want to celebrate Black History Month like what like let's actually just think about it for a second let's you know let, what I was thinking about this though let's think about well, it for was, a second I'm gonna let you learn then. yeah let no, let's no, let's actually think about it for a second yeah because when you were in school yeah. yeah who remembers celebrating Black History Month? Oh, all the time. Yeah. To be fair, my school was like, we had a lot of black kids. So Bro, like, in school, in, in school, because we went to the same school, do you remember celebrating Black History Month? Because I do not remember. You makes a good question. I do not remember Black maybe, History Month being a thing. Maybe once. No, they did world history instead, I think. But isn't that bad on your school? Uh, is it? No, but, yeah. is, is but, it, but is to it be really? fair, I think it is. To be fair, it's not bad. It's very on brand. Because think about the time that you joined the school, and when I joined, no, before you joined the school, what it was the, what it was like, yeah, and then what it was like when you knew me, and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's very on brand. Because the because the, the way I see it is that like I feel like a lot of stuff that we that is like standardized in society or mm. things that we get upset <clears throat> about, like like okay think, okay I'm trying to think of how to land this. Mm. You have gone into this corporate institution, just mind your own business, doing this that and the third. When you've gone into this corporate institution, there's been word that, oh, yeah, by the way, like, you know, we do stuff for Black History Month. and da, da, da. They've now looped you into this, like, ERG thing and said, oh, yeah, by the way, you should do this Black History Month thing. And now yeah. you kind of, like, embrace it as, like, your identity. Like, I need to do this Black History Month thing. But yeah. do you have to? I get that. But if you don't and, do, who will? But also, also, one thing we have to make clear is that we're not saying, like, Forget Black History Month. No, but are we? Yeah, no, I don't think we're saying that. Because I'm no, saying, we're not saying like, like, why does it have to be celebrated? Like, bro, like, if you really care about Black History Month, go for it, party outside of work. Like, go, yeah, like, literally, that's, that's like, what I thought go you and do, about, yeah, like, yeah. Go and do, if you really want to celebrate Black History yeah, Month, yeah. why do you have to celebrate Black History Month amongst a bunch of white people? Go uh, and go do drinks. So and like, get what all would your... you say the bare minimum? Drinks? For the barbecue, bro. But, like, <laughs> like, if you really care about Black History Month for that. Because the reason why I think about that is that in the context of if work wasn't involved, who is celebrating Black History Month outside of work? Yeah, I mean, I might post something on Instagram, but that's about it. Like, I don't go outside and start rallying the troops and start talking about, like... I'll, go, I'll go to initiatives, I'll try to. Yeah, no, I'll go like, to... If someone's hosted, like, a Black History event, yes, I'll, I'll go. Yes, I'll go, but I'm not going to start talking about Linford Christie, my own friends and stuff. I randomly. think it's good for, like, Black Pride and stuff. But I wanted to ask you, what's, like, the minimum a company has to do for you to feel, like, as a Black person, I'm not cooning, if you get what I mean? Because mm. it feels like that is, like, for their, that person, it's like, nah, you're... you're you, you don't value me. So what would you guys say? I that? think as a bare minimum, like, there should be, like, um, there's a couple of things. So first of all, like, there should be a structure that allows, like, black people to be able to get opportunities or get into the door. Okay. Like, equally as their white counterparts. Yeah. And there should also be the structure for them to be able to progress 
like just as their white counterparts as okay. well. Okay. And that's like the bare minimum. That's like, and ultimately the bare minimum is just equality. Mm. There should be equality yeah. across the board. Okay. So and every, everything. yeah, everything that, that, that should be the case. And I don't think that's the case at the moment. And mm. I think from our side, what we're trying to do is like create that access so people yeah. can actually get into the thing. But mm. yeah, I think equality is just the bare minimum. Equality, okay. Yeah. yeah. But then I'd flip it and say that I think a lot of people are always like, it's not my job to do it and da 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 and this, that, and the third. But I always say then, whose job is it? Because yeah. yes, okay, we can want the employer to do it. But I always say to people, if employers could get away with paying people one pound a year, they, they would. would do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's like, you can't, you can't expect something that is this systemic hmm. to like change by employers just being like, yeah, we should do the right thing. And I feel like there's an element of accountability that us as black people should take when we enter these institutions. And look, I'm not saying everybody should be crazy like me and quit their jobs and try to start a movement to help people. Yeah. But I feel like... You, there should be people that are in these organisations that are black people to just be like, oh, like I have to do a bit of extra work to just put people on and stuff like yeah. that. Because yeah. a lot of black people in these corporate spaces are gatekeepers. Gatekeepers. Oh, Heavy. 100%. Have you guys dealt with any? Yeah, um, remember, remember, last time I came, remember when I said uh, that, that um, it was that meme I made where like I was like, when I was in the function, I was trying to talk to the black person. Oh, and yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Off, like, yeah, yeah. And, and that's happened to me on a couple yep. of occasions. And even yeah. now, like in the context of like business and stuff, the people that help me the most, I know black people. But, you know... Uh, no, but with business, that's, I would say that's a bit different. I would expect... Huh? Huh? What do you mean? Why is, it like, why, is it why is it different if it's business and not yeah. in work? No, I'm not expecting a black... I'm expecting someone to help my business. I don't... I'm, I'm me personally, I'm of the belief that don't enable this a black business. It's just a business no, that's great. No, but I'm not even saying like a black business. It's yeah. just more so like, for example, like if I'm speaking to... The contact I'm usually speaking to is someone that's like the head of DEI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? And they're like, they're a black person. Bro, I've heard a head of DAI go on record and be like, oh, yeah, so what? You're trying to take my job. Oh, and I'm like... Huh, okay, that's you? crazy. Yeah, I'm just like, what are you talking I'm literally I meant, trying to I meant help. like, I'll speak to yeah. anyone if it means my business. But then... Oh, forward. That's I, 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 I think, yeah, think yeah, you're looking at it from the yeah, other yeah, side. Yeah, 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 I'm not, yeah, I don't mean like, I just have like a black network and then... Oh, no, 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 no. no, 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 no I'm like, there's people that I've spoken to. Yeah, it's just like, they're just gatekeepers. They're just like... And it's like, literally, even one of the companies that we started working with, like, I remember the head of the department who was black, she just turned me down and aired me. And it, it ended up being like some man that was like a white man in just like a low level role that actually brought us in. Mm. And it happens like that all the time. And that's because that naturally, I think, I don't know, like as black people, like because it's so hard for us to get into these places, we just feel like, hey, we're not trying to mess up our bag. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and it's like, and it's hey, like you know, me taking a chance on you. And then it's yeah, like, you're going to come fuck it up all of us. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You're going to mess you it all like, up. You yeah. and your friends. I'm like, like, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. So I think there's that element. But I don't know. I feel like as black people, we kind of need to take accountability and understand that, yes, yes, these employers should do better and yeah. there should be equality. But at the same time, like, no, like, if... Martin Luther King and them man weren't radical and were doing madnesses and literally putting their lives on the line, we would not be in these positions. Mm. And sometimes it takes certain people to crash out for us to... No, it's true. It's very, to and she might be the one to crash out. Yeah, like... Just, and then, and then it's, you know, she changed the whole scene yeah. for everybody. I mean, exactly. So this is what I'm saying. Like, certain times in the workplace, like, change your name, you shouldn't do it. Mm. Just kind of give people, show people what you're on because mm. it's like, they will start acting accordingly. In my yeah, opinion, uh, mm, you would think that until they sack you. So, <laughs> like, 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 well, that guy sounded like he was not making like, any progress yeah, in life. And, like. yeah, and that's why I think it's just, it's, it's, it's like a balancing act. It's yeah. like a, manage your expectations and understanding that, look, this, these institutions are systemically racist and that's just how it is and it's not going to be perfect all the way. Mm. But at the same time, just like, fight your battles accordingly. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So if it's a thing where like, okay, cool, Look, I can't celebrate Black History Month kind of thing. I could make a whole tussle about this for this one month in the year just to celebrate Black History Month. Mm. Or I could just take in the chin, do my job, get a promotion and dip, or look for another job. True. Or write a LinkedIn post. Sorry. Oh. Stuff is premium ghost right now still. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What you charge for that though? It ain't light. It ain't light. Onto the next dilemma. This one, I've had I just had a read over it because he's it's crazy. Cool. So it says HR finding my work chat, yeah? Which is also one of my biggest fears. Fez did a sweep. Fez did a So I'm currently on a grad... <laughs> this is crazy. On a grad scheme. I'm currently on a grad scheme for a finance company and I'll be so real. It's very boring at the moment because it's still early days. So it's the first time me and my colleague rate the corporate baddies at work. 
At first, it was just a general catch up during our lunch break, but the work days get so long that we started talking about it over our team's GC. First red flag. A few weeks ago, I got a meeting invite from HR out of the blue to discuss my conduct at work, and my colleague also told me he received the same meeting invite. Our meetings haven't ha- happened yet, but do you think I'm cooked? Oh. I'm not going to lie to you. You're done. Well done. done. Like, you know where the done. meat is tough. Yeah. And you're, you're doing it. Done. You're, can you even give me the toothpick? You're, you're done. done. You're you shouldn't even be on Indeed. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's like, you should be at like, interviews like, right now. Like, <laughs> like, like, Listen, don't even go in. Don't even go in. Am I cooked? Yeah, yeah. You're more than cooked. You've got your burnt. You've been served. Guys, is it? Of course. Why would you make a rookie mistake and start talking on team, though? It's like, I hear it. Sometimes you get bored, though. No, no, no. I hear that, really? but then do you have to do is so much code where it's like. No, it's, it's, it's not even just so much code. That's when you just say, do you want to hop on the call? At least that one is not recorded. Exactly. It's not recorded, so you can talk how you want to talk. That was I, think, I think it's even mad. I think, like, bruh. It kind of just thinks, damn, like works actually monitoring your chats and that. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but, but then it's but then it's it's, it's um it's company property. Yeah. So it's not so all that privacy, GDPR, my own rights, yeah. all that sort of stuff. This it's is true. company property. It's even true because I'm even thinking like, let's say for example, you were like famous or something, and you like got into politics. You think all those like chats won't just get leaked out of, yeah, out, was, out of nowhere? It was actually, from back in the day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Someone has a story to tell. <laughs> Yeah. There's a scandal. Like he's on, he's on flipping what uh, Jeremy something. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually mad though. That's what? mad. Yeah, nah. you have to keep you have to keep rating the corporate baddies off the. You can't or, be. It can't be just, on the main. Or just do it on your phone, like on your own socials. Yeah. Or, like for example, if you got him yeah, on Snap yeah, or on yeah. WhatsApp, you, that's where you gist. You don't gist on Teams. Yeah. Would you guys chat to a girl at work? Sorry, wait. <laughs> 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 I, I, I just thought, you know, like, since we're on the topic, like... I just threw a grenade in it. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, like, would you guys actually chat to a girl? Like, if, you were, if a girl was at work and you're feeling the girl, would you chat Depends. to her? Huh? Well, she can't be in the same team as me. Okay, fair. Wait, yeah. why? Why? Yeah. Nah, it's because... Because, do you know what is, With me, I think, yes, you can be fine and I want to pursue you and whatever. But then if I'm like... If you're on my daily stand-ups all the time... Yeah, and it's a like, bit icky. It, yeah, and it's just like... You're too yeah. close. Yeah. Like, do you know what I'm trying to say? What about you? What about you? And especially for work nah, is shit. I don't, like. I don't mix business with pleasure. Oh, well, <laughs> this guy's talking like, he's like, I got this shirt and tie. I don't speak to anything. Like, yeah, like, you know. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, my boss just following me on social media. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who's going to see this. Yeah. I need to be careful. Would you chat someone at work? Um, no. Why? No. Like the whole closeness, not a bit of me. Yeah, see close oh, proximity right. in it. Yeah, like, I think she has to work in another office. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In uh, the thing is, like, I don't know. I've been in so many talking stages that bro, like, <laughs> it, like it, that shit. Like, I can like you today, and then tomorrow it's like over. So it's like yeah. after would. that. That's what he's answering. He would. That, yeah, I would, but it's like once it fades out, it's like. Ugh. Oh yeah, once it fades out, it's like it's no longer like. Uh, it's done now. Like, you're it's not no longer kind anymore. regards. It's it's thanks or like best. <laughs> yeah, best. Well, nothing. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, just crazy. But yeah, you have to keep rating the corporate baddies off the GC, man. You can't. 100%. You're, you're you're definitely cooked. And you if you're can't. not cooked, I don't know how you ain't cooked. Yeah. But what's your highest rate? Like, who's the highest rate? That's true. Know, if we're not gonna find. It, we're never gonna. Because that's why, like, if they because they're just gonna throw that sexual harassment charge on you. That's what it's. They're gonna find so many ways because because really? you guys yeah. need to you guys easy that's easy man. easy work <laughs> <laughs> all of it all of because the thing is like you need to think about it as well look HR they're not really doing that much at work yeah. so they saw this oh, and they were like Everybody. they were like hey you know that Drewski meme we got him <laughs> <laughs> we fucking got him they're like yeah, they're gonna milk it oh 100 yeah, yeah. and ev- and is the worst thing is yeah because obviously I'm assuming this guy he's like. These guys are boys. Mm. So we're not going to be talking in formal dictionary English words. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be using words that are out of context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. Yeah, HR Whoa. is building against sexual harassment joint enterprise. Like, there, there, might even be tre- there might even be treason in there. Who yeah, knows? Yeah. It's, like, it's actually true. Because the thing is, if you're chatting about that, work, think of how many things you're probably talking about. Exactly. Yeah. That is so true. Like, yeah. no, nah, like, what, like, what is the criteria you're rating these corporate baddies on? <laughs> And then you're and what, be... what kind of language are you using? Exactly. What are you saying? Is, is it the outfit? Now is... Yeah, like, you know... Maybe like... the person needs to send, like, pictures and stuff so we can... Ref... 
Oh my god. Hey. That's another charge. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, another one. So, like, I'm to get them in charge. Literally, they're going to pull this up as evidence. Like, so, you sent this to uh, a public yeah. forum yeah. to yeah. this And they plastered it. Yeah. <laughs> to, this, to this podcast, then. Yeah. What okay. is, oh, yeah. so this is a worldwide podcast. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Spotify and YouTube. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. Don't, even, don't even take your stuff. Just, yeah, just, just get out. <laughs> Pour him out like a wolf. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's amazy. No, 100%. Uh, cool. The next one is. I did a test where I changed my name to a more non-ethnic name and got replies back more than I did with my very ethnic black and Muslim name. Same CV and everything. And there have been studies done on this. The discrimination runs deep and it happens more so in the fashion sector, I've realised. Mm. Interesting. That's... Wait, yeah. is that actually a thing? Because when they... You know what? I, I, I probably think it is, you know. There might really? be like these... You know these like... Um, you know, like, first of all, you know when they, when you apply for a job and they make you make those stupid accounts? Mm. I'm pretty sure, like, certain companies have some settings just to filter through by names or whatever. Mm. Or, like, like name, maybe if there's, like, an ethnic, um, like, ethnicity declaration there as well. Just so it's like, okay, these ones are the quota ones, these ones are the ones that's we actually crazy. want. All, like, yeah, you guys put, like, black African all that impossible. stuff. Impossible. <laughs> um, I, I, I mean, I, I've... Uh, the thing is... I'm you can just, tell from my name. Yeah, I know. Yeah. First yeah. and last name. <laughs> I'm, I'm just mad delusional. There is no option. Like, I'm, I'm so ignorant and just delusional. I just literally think these things don't apply to me. Like... Literally, no, like, when, like, literally, you know what is, if you don't have that mindset, you're just gonna... Yeah, yeah like, I just feel like you step. automatically discount yourself, innit? Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe it's because... Because, yeah, like, when I... Honestly, I literally thought, I'm a graduate. Mm. Why can I not? How would I not be able to get a job? Like, Listen, what are you talking you want about? Me, bro, I need the job. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. When Space I was I when me. I was looking for a new job, I was applying to like twenty jobs a day. Yeah. I can tell that thing definitely applies. Yeah. Because once they saw Ayomide, but, but, they said but the drop down. Here, what I'm saying. It was only one option, you know. But here, what I'm saying. <laughs> there was only one option on the drop down. Really? Black African. But here, what there I'm saying. There was no then. other. But here, what I'm saying. But here, what I'm saying. Let's save you some time. That's where you belong. Exactly. We we know you. All right. We know your type. <laughs> but here, what I'm saying, though, did you get a job or not? Of course, yeah. But that, but that wasn't even through. Yeah, okay. Did you, no, did you get a job or not? Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. And what did it take? It took you having to do grafting, grafting and that's just out. that is just what it is. And I feel like again, I'm, I say this to say, yes, we can want equality. Yes, mm. it's not fair. Yes, we have to work twice as hard. Yeah, true. That or don't get that or be unemployed. But yeah. then there is the also, there is the other side of it as well. Like aside of the whole name stuff, yeah. Which I mean. Charger, innit? But aside of the whole name stuff, there's a lot of jobs out there that are fake. Because there's... Mm. Uh, listen. Yeah, I, I, made a, I made a couple of TikToks on this recently. I, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I'm gonna name drop because they have to be I, name dropped. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They have to be. Because there's no way this, recruit, this recruitment company can be posting jobs saying one year experience and I'm getting 100k. I know it's tech, but tech, mm, not everyone is yeah, even that yeah, great. Yeah, like that. Yeah, this country, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. everyone's seen it. Hunter Bond on I LinkedIn. If you go on the job section mm. and you're looking for tech jobs, they'll always say, oh yeah, um, graduate role or junior developer this, starting at 70K. Starting at 70? Yeah, that's a bit, but that's a yeah. Not even up to 70. You're starting at 70. I applied like four times, bro. Yeah, I saw that stuff like where like um a lot of these companies are even doing it. It's just literally to hit licks. So like mm. they would literally be like, yeah, apply for the job. And, oh yeah, by the way, you have to pay for this qualification and you have to pay for this processing and da, da, da. Yeah. And because the job market is so mad right now. People are doing it. People are desperate. That's crazy. Because you just, because how many courses have you paid for? Yeah. Just because you want to do a course kind of thing. So that's oh. the way they're kind of branding it. I've never paid for a course. Facts. You never that's paid for a course? I pay for any course. But a lot of people mm. will pay for like boot I camps really, and all yeah. this kind yeah. of thing. I paying for nothing. Listen, if that's not on the company, damn. Nah, yeah. One time before I got my role that I have now, when I said there's this company I applied for, they were like, yeah, just come with us. You Obviously, you have to pay for the um, experience. So they'll charge me for the experience. Man, man said, oh, obviously. <laughs> and, then, free? and then Standard. they'll give me like, I don't know, you might get a job. You might. Wait, is it that boot camp thing you told me about? No, 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 no. Oh. That was legit. <laughs> no, I thought you... <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, so that, yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll give me a job. When I say they call me every week on the week to ask me, yeah, do you know... It's tough out here. Do you, you want to give us a shot? Every week, you know. Damn. It's Every a hustle, week. isn't it? It's just a hustle. It's a hustle. And you can tell, because I'm, tell I'm telling them my information, like, nah, I don't yeah, really, yeah, yeah. I'm not really interested. I'm in a lot of dares. I don't want any more. Fraud, fraud, <laughs> fraud is getting so, like, you know, that's the one thing they say about the fraud industry is like, the criminals are like, really smart. Like, they get yeah. advanced. Mm. Every- like, 
What did you say to that? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, stuff actually needs to be media trained. Like, no. Yeah. So that's it's like, no, I mean, like, in terms of their mindset, like, they're actually yeah. really smart. Oh, no, they're, 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 they're really entrepreneurs. Smart. They're entrepreneurs. <laughs> they're entrepreneurs. <laughs> I don't think they're that smart. They're, no, they're, I think they're, if, if none of us had morals, we could all do that. Like, it's not that. Now, some of them are quite smart, though. Like, think about it. How do you think of. Like, just think about it. Back in the day. Back in the day. Fraud was like, okay, yeah, like, guess cards, scamming, AC. Now it's like, you could get got from like the job market. Like, what is that about? Yeah, no, so literally. Like, mm, that know. is what, like, that to me is crazy. I agree that crazy. Was cra- uh, nah, come on, that's crazy. You just like, need a web nah, developer, you're good to go. Like, nah, but like, I ain't gonna lie, like, you hustling, bro. That's wild. Like, it's, it's very easy for someone to think it's a HSBC website because it says HSCB. Like, yeah, dyslexic. Like, you, you sound like you thought Especially, about that. Oh, <laughs> you, you sound like you thought about Especially that. Especially if you're going through twenty hours a day. Yeah, like, yeah it's true. You're tired. Yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. What? And then all of a sudden, oh yeah, come to this office. Like what? Next run out of WeWork. Your card details. In. All you do is run out of WeWork floor, and they'd be like, oh yeah, come into this office. We we'll talk, interview. And then it's like, oh yeah, so all we need you to do, yeah, it's just even um, into, bro, you could get robbed. They could just yeah, like rob literally, you, yeah. oh yeah, they yeah, they could just like, like, just to bring your laptop so we could just discuss this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Plan yeah. out what we're gonna do. So, so so we can we can show you on your right, laptop. Imagine, <laughs> nah, imagine <laughs> going through the interview bro, and just getting robbed. Like what? No, and then you come the next day, the office doesn't exist. I feel like people need to be a bit more smarter though. Yeah, you do need I can't to kind lie, of be. Like you, you need to be a bit more smarter. I always say it could never be me, but oh. I'm just saying be a bit more smarter because there's certain red flags that you can see pop out like and then you still go through it. Yeah. What are some red flags that you but see? It, oh yeah, no, come on. on, like you say, bring my laptop to an interview. Why are you telling me <laughs> to bring insane. my laptop yeah. to an interview? I just made that up, by the way. I'm just saying, like, yeah. in general, like, why would someone pressure you to bring your laptop uh, to an shoot. interview? No, so this, is a, this, no is a, this is a tech job. Yeah, yeah but I think it's like, this? obviously, like, it's just, mm. that's why I said, like, these criminals are smart because they're playing on the emotions of people actually looking for jobs and are really desperate. Especially, mm. like, the one I saw on the news was about how, like, they were telling them, oh, you have to pay for, like, immigration processes. So the people they're targeting are, like, international students. Like, they need a visa to be in the country. Yeah. So to them, they're like, fuck it, I'll, I'll pay anything. And I know some companies actually do sort that out for you. Yeah, like, exactly. Oh, so, so in their like, head, they're just like, oh, okay, bad, 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 bad. And think about who doesn't want to do. like, live and work in London? Yeah, no, because I've seen some of these posts. Like Some people like are literally, um, they're like, oh, it's my last attempt. I'm literally going to get kicked out of like, yeah, the UK yeah, if yeah. I don't. Da, 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 da. We saw a post Oh, like yeah, that the recently. visa so, sponsorship stuff. Yeah, so, it? so yeah. it's like people Damn. are like, so then if a company is just like, Hey, like you know, you pay us a grand, and like you know, you have to sort that out. Yeah, that's that's crazy. So you you've only got twenty days left. Mm. That's what I'm saying that's the your fraud, last friend to get that job. Yeah, yeah. and now you can't even pay for luggage to go and back home. Just get you guys are giving people more ideas. Sorry. So that's what I'm saying. No, I'm just saying, like, I'm in their position. It's like, bro, it's either I need to pay bills because this job market is crazy, or my visa exp- is expiring. And but that's that's why I say, it's tough, the man. world doesn't revolve around corporate. Go get a normal job. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes Young Primark. It's just- yeah. yeah. Sometimes get like, bro, like, Make what you, like, sacrifice. what do you mean, like, you're literally about to get kicked out of the country, and you feel like your only hope is to get a corporate job? No, go get a, just go get a job I'd to say just get, stay. Um, like a supermarket job though, because grocery prices are crazy. Yeah, it's actually very true. Get it? Just yeah, like, be or, smart. or go work for the council, get a council tax discount. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I don't even know what it is, but yeah, yeah, it's true. It's yeah. Travel yeah. around. Jobs that you can actually. Yeah, but I just feel like people just need to touch grass. Like the world doesn't revolve around corporate. Quick question. Is there a job like either industry or particular field that you wouldn't date? I think we did ask you this probably the first time you're here. Or like uh what uh industry that a girl works in that I wouldn't date. Yeah. Mm. And then obviously, you know, hmm. figures all stuff. Do you wanna go stuff? You go first though. I don't know. You date anybody, you like? Yeah. <laughs> 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 the bag's there, like right? you know. <laughs> Yeah, I can't lie. The date market is tough right now. I date anyone. Like, 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 oh, we know. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Sorry. Damn, that's crazy. I mean, no, <laughs> no, nah, nah, yeah. go on. Um, like, spill. The hinge oh. thing was crazy. Like, what are you talking that's about? Anyway, no, uh, yeah. you know what? Let's all, we're gonna we're gonna spin back to that. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. We're, yeah we're I don't know. Would, like, I don't know. Hmm. I can't lie. I probably won't. Yeah, I'm 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 capping. I date anyone. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh. It doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter when yeah. it's Kind of depends on the person. Though. Yeah, just yeah, it just depends on the person. But I mean, from my experience, though, I feel like there's certain people that work in certain industries that just feel like they're like mm. just <clears throat> more more elite than they are. I find that with like lawyers tend to like. Yeah, I, 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 I was literally I, gonna I, say I'm. 
I probably wouldn't date a lawyer. Either. Yeah, lawyers yeah. tend to like feel like they're very <laughs> yeah like. And then yeah. I'd say after that maybe like like high finance babe. So like not. Mm. I'm talking like investment bank and finance. Like oh. there's people that think they're highly intellectual. Do you know what it is? I hear that. But I would say, for me, I don't think you can be in the same industry as me. Really? Why? The reason I say that, yeah, because obviously, so I work in tech, but I work in cybersecurity. Mm. So even though a lot of people are saying, oh yeah, cybersecurity is, you know, the place to be or whatever. Um, there's a, I don't want to say there's a particular type of people that work in cybersecurity, but there's not that many women. Mm. In cybersecurity. What? Huh? No, nothing. <laughs> no, I did not say anything. <laughs> I'm gonna hear it back in. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but yeah, there's a lot of women. In, there's not sorry. There's not a lot of women in cybersecurity. So it's like again, you have to go through like the process of like how do you get to cybersecurity in the first place? It's you know maybe you did computer science at A level. Again, not that many women women in those classes. Are and you saying that women that work in cybersecurity? Because I feel like that's what you're alluding to. I didn't say that. Because <laughs> like, I literally feel like that's what oh. you're getting at. I didn't say that. <laughs> I literally, I didn't, I didn't, only you would know. So I yeah. didn't say that. I literally feel like that's what you're getting at. I argue. You but I feel, I feel like... I feel like <laughs> Land the plane. Certain, <laughs> Honestly, no, no, no. Certain, certain people in, in cybersecurity, yeah? Like, for example, like, let's be honest. When you work in tech, you're basically a nerd, right? I'm yeah. Sure. No. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 it's, no, it's, no, it's, it's true. I mean, you say so. It's true. You say so. I would have heard it. No, you're, you're, basically, you're basically like a nerd, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And with a lot of like the cliche person that works in tech, yeah, as not the new gen of tech where you can yeah. work from home and yeah. or you're a project manager, so you work in tech. None of that. I'm talking about actual coders and whatever. Yeah. You, their social skills aren't really that great. Do you know what I'm trying to say? No, I don't get you. So man. then like... <laughs> I know some cool tech babes, bro. Like, yeah, I, I, know what you, I know some great people with great personalities that work in tech. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, if I there's know. something you want to say, but what I'm saying is, yours. what I'm saying is, um, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Damn. Jeez, because I had my point, but now my point's gone. Are you yeah. Sure? Are you Was sure? Yeah. Was that my point? Like, honestly, <laughs> I, I think we know point? your point. I feel what like what you were saying is that females that work in tech. I didn't say that, but I didn't disagree with whoever did say that. But I'm not saying that for the general Guys, population. You had it here. I'm, yeah. not, saying that, I'm not saying for the you're general population. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> no, no, because, because like some some of my friends that are obviously in tech and they're women, they're cool, mm. but they're very they're a minority. They're, would you say they're niche? Ah, mm. uh, uh -huh. you, you know say what? It. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> say it. <laughs> because I was like fucking what's my mama's name. Um, what's that vampire film called again? What's that? Sky, what's that? Oh, fuck off anyway. <laughs> I, 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 I can't remember what I was talking about. They're, they're niche, they're niche. Yeah. Hold on. What Do does not... niche mean in your book? In this Steph context? Very like... Black. Few oh, or far sorry. between. Very... <laughs> what? You... what, what like, does there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a subsection, so it's very niche. Uh -huh. Everything is very... Do you know what, Do you know what else is very niche? What? Like, like for example, I've been on Hinge, but I've never been clocked. You've been on Hinge. Has you been clocked? So let's guy, talk about that. This guy, this guy Honestly, tell him to get off Hinge as well. This guy's a second. Let's talk about that. Hey, look, listen, guys, I'm old, man. I'm touching my vintage years. I need a wife. He is too. I need a wife. So look, if I'm working 24-7, there's no place for me to find a wife. So yeah. look, I just, I just went on Hinge a little bit. I went on Hinge. Mm. And um, I the thing is, like, I find it so weird till this day that people clock me on the street and stuff. Because I don't think I'm that big of a creator, but people do. They do. But... Bro, I'm thinking like if we're on Hinge and stuff like that, like you've been here, don't say, "Oh my god!" Like, <laughs> like you're oh, corporate. Out. Yeah, it's like oh, like, you're oh corporate, god, corporate Steve. Steve. You, I feel like some people just match me just to say you're corporate Steve. Steve. Like, so like, like, he's like mm, X. Yeah, no, no, he's like <laughs> literally, like no people would match me. And I remember like there was this, <laughs> there was this, and this I made a TikTok about it. So literally, so I'm fine, babe. Like very, very elite, babe. So mm. I literally. Let me even put you guys on game real quick. I'll teach you some riz. So I, saw, so I saw, I saw a fan girl. Yeah, true. she was holding flowers in a picture. Yeah. So the thing is with Hinge, you have to pop up with a comment if you want to mm. maximize people actually like responding to you. You have to pop up with a comment. Mm. Yeah. So I literally replied to her and said, "Who got you those flowers? Stink." Yeah, and cool. Did that very nice, efficient message within five minutes. She messaged me back. Then all of a sudden, she's like, "Oh my days, Stephen, you helped me get an internship." Stephen. Nigga, this is Steve. <laughs> said, oh my God, you won't believe this. You helped me get an internship. And I'm just like, bro, what are you talking that about? I have to like? be professional. Damn. Yeah, bro, like, <laughs> like, oh, like, oh, like <laughs> I'm happy for you. Yeah. Oh, you know, well done. I said, oh, congrats. Tell oh, me like, more. Yeah, like, 
I, I, literally, I literally plugged my. I was like, oh yeah, you should join our WhatsApp. You eat, like help you with your jobs yeah. and stuff. And mm-hmm. it was just so annoying. I did try to spin the block there. Oh, she's in the uh, GC, huh? What? Huh? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I did try to win the block. I, the, the thing hey, is, I didn't want you know, to, bro. No, no, you know, before, yeah. <laughs> me stuff. I'm not gonna lie, before, I used to get really scared about that. I'm like, bro, I don't want it to make it look like I just basically set up a front to basically just chat mm, to girls. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I'm basically running these recruitment scams. <laughs> I'm basically running these recruitment scams just to chat to girls. But then my boy was like, bro, like, let's be mature. Like, I'm like mm. what, what's, is it really that deep? Is, is it really? That, I'm asking, guys, is, is it really that deep? I don't, I don't mm. think it is. I don't think it is. What, as in, like, that deep to get clocked on there? Or like, like, if I get clocked and I enter, t- like, do you know what I mean? I'm just like... No, but l- let's be real. You're only a man. Yeah, as long as you don't abuse power, like, say, oh, I'll get your internship huh? if you don't. <laughs> that's like a date. <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> that is wild. No, 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 no. So I, I think I started thinking, I think I was just really scared because obviously, like, a big part of my business is rooted in the brand. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and yeah. we've taken, yeah, yeah. we've did, did a lot of work to kind of, like, build this brand properly. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's like... Even Steph, there's certain things I say and stuff that she's like, yeah, bro, like, yeah, yeah, you got really back in. Mm. But I don't know, like, obviously it's treacherous scenes right now, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a wife. I'm trying to get yeah. out of this. Bro, it's listen, I, 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 I hear you, day. bro. I hear you. So, so obviously, like, yeah, I'm just like, you know what? If, especially because like as the brand continues to grow, I'm only gonna get close. Like, I'm gonna be so real with you guys. Half of the people I speak to you, they're like, oh yeah, I know you guys seen you on TikTok. So it's just mm. like, bro, it's, it's I, inevitable. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's like a job. Yeah. yeah. When you go into the store, you're gonna see someone. Yeah, mind your business. Exactly. Yeah. And, and it's it's even better if they do that like they've been in before because yeah. then they understand. Yeah, but now I deleted him today because I just was like, Thank God. Yeah, yeah, I deleted it because it was just like it's just getting too much and. Yeah. I, nah, I, I I ain't never going back on there again. Yeah, no, nah, I just. Um, no, no, I was on there before, but never again. Uh, that was like the Rose pay? of Damascus over there. That's crazy. That's crazy. Did you pay? Pay is crazy for a fr- <laughs> like, for a free to download app. What hey, you guys? Hey, if you guys hey, are broke, just say that. Hey, look, I'm gonna tell you. If you want to max- maximize your chances of in, you have to pay. Look, hey, I got hey. an iPhone 15 <laughs> Bro, hey, I ain't broke. You gotta pay to play. Hey, look, let me hey, say. I'm, I'm gonna be so real. Wait, did, you, did you? Did you pay? You will never catch one hit. Like I, I paid. I paid. <laughs> she, she said, oh, impossible. I'm gonna be never. so real. Look, if you want to maximize your chances of seeing a thing, like you have to pay. It's a pay. It's a pay thing. But, but, but look, think about it. You swipe like three times and it's like, oh yeah, done. Yeah, but but once I once I pay, I'm cooked in my mind. Yeah, no, I was cooked. I'm not gonna lie to you. No, he was I was cooked. cooked. I was cooked. I was cooked. Like, I was cooked. I, I, Do you know why? Because I swear to God, yeah, hinge. Do you know what? Land. Oh. I'm gonna land. I can't lie to you. One thing I started to notice was that when I didn't pay, I would see like sixes, 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 eight, sixes, mm-hmm. fives. Was the minute I started paying nines, 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 nines. I ain't gonna nines, lie to nines. you, <laughs> bro. And it's like that's why I wanted him to learn, oh, bro. The- <laughs> bro <laughs> no, it's, but it's pimping. It's no, it's literally okay, no. I tell you why. Like, like, I, like, I, pay- I haven't even fully landed yet. Oh, then shit, they have a special section, mm-hmm. and this special section is they basically it's a section where they say that oh we're showing you the most compatible women mm. every day. Bro, it's just the baddies. Like, it's a bad. Like, it's like yeah. they're showing you like oh, you're giving they're literally sh- they're, li- they're literally they're literally showing elevens, yeah. And it's like, oh yeah. By the way, if you want to match these baddies, you have to pay extra money. Yeah. So I've I've seen those little prompts, but I'm like, you ain't gonna. So, get so me. it's like, bro, like what like what are we actually doing? Here? At, this, at this point, I'm as well. I'm as well. Like Lucy, that's two miles away as well. No, yeah, like, we're literally. We're literally Oh wow! What? No, because I'm. I'm it, what, no, what does that know, bro? Like, what, what do you does mean? that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Elaborate. Like, like, that's two miles away. Wait, <laughs> wait a minute. That sounds Lucy. that sounds familiar. <laughs> I just can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Oh. What? Oh what are you talking nah, about? Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna let that slide. <laughs> But I'm, I'm so, that is that I'm literally still processing that. What does that mean? We know, we all know what that means, bro. Right, 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 right. Like you right, ever been right. on like a betting website and then them adverts pop up? Ah, the betting, yeah, the betting, yeah, the betting website. Oh, I don't bet, bro. Yeah, oh, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's but yeah, bro? yeah, <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I do think yeah, hinge. Yeah, no, yeah, getting clocked. I'm yeah, I stopped hinge. I stopped hinge. So yeah, Thank out God. here looking for a wife, man. Like shit. Like, no just... events. Yeah, yeah. LinkedIn? Do you know what does no. wait LinkedIn? No. Nah, you can't be moving to people on LinkedIn, man. That's a bit crazy. That was that, that was could just go left. be my first rookie mistake when that I first could, got LinkedIn. Yeah, that could go left really quickly. But That's it's a, beautiful. It's, like, it's a gold man. Has it ever gone right for anyone? Or on LinkedIn? <laughs> <laughs> to move to your LinkedIn. Yeah, sure, like, I don't think there's no way you can flip it. Like it's no, just like unless it's like well, like you would have to be catching up from a network. No, you'd have to be like ninety five percent sure that you're gonna score to do it. 
Yeah, yeah even night night because he can just go there. The and I can't lie, I I misread the room one time on LinkedIn as well. Okay, go on. So I I so I basically been like. Obviously, like, we make a lot of content on LinkedIn. Yeah. People yeah. interact with my stuff. And there was this one person, she was commenting on my stuff. So I'm like, oh, you know, da, 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 like, you know, very, like, very, I notice her comment yeah. on my stuff yeah. a lot. So obviously, I slide in the DMs now, kind of thing, like, oh, you know, <laughs> thank you. I was like, I was like, you know, like, I oh, think you for engaging my content. Da, 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 da. And I tried to hit her up with the. Should we go for coffee? Yeah, yeah, but it was like a. So, so that's the thing. If you're playing, if you're yeah. running that play on LinkedIn, you have to do it in such a way that it doesn't. People ask for coffee chats all the time. Mm. So I slid in with that play and she shut it down respectfully. Okay. Like it, it was very much, but it's like. What did she say? Like, so she, I said something like, okay. Hmm. I don't want to make myself out. <laughs> <laughs> she works for a popular company. Okay. Mm. I've gone to that popular company a couple of times. Okay. And because I've gone to that popular company a couple of times, I thought there was a level of familiarity there. Uh. So I said, yo, like, when next are you in said popular company, we should da, da, da. And she basically just said, yeah, nah, nah, no, nigga. Like, <laughs> she, she basically just said, I'm, I'm not going to be in said popular company. Like she basically said, no, I'm not going to be in a company kind of thing. Yeah, she, th that's basically what she said. Mm. But I could have not read the room and continued to push. And at that point, it would have been a, someone's making a LinkedIn post about this guy trying to harass me yeah. on LinkedIn. Or someone's making a TikTok post. That's even worse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's like my biggest fear as well. No, I think LinkedIn. I guess what I was saying, worse. like, because LinkedIn, LinkedIn you get finished worse. professionally. You're blacklisted yeah. on LinkedIn. That's, yeah. I yeah. never yeah. see that. Yeah. 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 I was thinking TikTok because of, of the spread. Yeah, but yeah. you know what? But I think people have a short memory on LinkedIn, though. Because you know what we're saying? that LinkedIn posts, like, they don't really... TikTok, that thing will be oh, circulating. No, come on, come on. No, and no, then it I ends up on though. Instagram. Mm, LinkedIn, it yeah. just stays on Inst uh, LinkedIn, it just stays on LinkedIn. There's no shade bar on LinkedIn. Yeah, sure. No, but I feel like if it's a scandal, people are going to look because but, okay. it's a scandal. Think about it. How many scandals have you heard about on LinkedIn? I, I haven't really... Exactly. But they're scandals. But true. you don't remember. But think about the scandal going on in TikTok right now. Everyone's talking about Diddy. Everyone's talking about Diddy for a, a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody, everybody knows about that. A thousand bowls of baby oil. <laughs> God. Insane. That's crazy. Have you guys seen the visual of what a thousand bowls... Um, <laughs> I, I don't think Tesco even have that. In terms of, you know, the Johnson & Johnson <laughs> warehouse bowls. even. I don't think they have that there in the yeah, back. Yeah, wow, that is. A thousand bowls. That, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Like, you know those AI images that don't look real? That's what <laughs> you get in like, 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 That's so wild. Do you know how big of a room that must be? That's what you're using your millions for. It's crazy. Crazy, yeah, yeah no, it's wild. <laughs> no, nah, fairs, but yeah, so um, no, no, uh, yeah, no play on LinkedIn, man. I think you just have to meet people in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what it's. Yeah, that's what it is. I yeah, like no, you. definitely, definitely not on Hinge. I think Joe is. I think I'm, I'm like this close um, to becoming a monk. I hear it because it's cooked out here, man. No, it's it's actually cooked out here. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Not me though. I'm trying to start no. now. Oh, first. Yeah, yeah. 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 What is but that might change. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's how God focuses his business. Though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. I'm always trying oh. someone. Do you know what? Yeah, Actually, yeah. Steph, I'd love to hear from your point of view, you know, because um, obviously, like, we're talking about it from a male perspective. Yeah. Like, what's it like for you? And especially because... Oh, what, on LinkedIn? Or oh, just no, in general, like, in dating general. market. Oh, yeah. dating. Yeah. Mm, I find dating fun. Why do you find it fun? That sounds like such a politically correct answer. Would it? <laughs> like like it's a, like it's a pastime. Yeah, like what? Yeah, like dating's fine. I don't know. But I haven't found someone, so it's uh, not no. that fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying like, do you, um, like the same way that we're saying the market's cooked. Do you oh, think yeah, it's, it's finished? <laughs> why do you think it's finished? Um, do you know what it is? From my point of view, I feel like a lot of men don't have personality. Like literally, I you speak to them and all they focus on. Well, maybe it's because I'm a guy. But um, they focus on like superficial stuff and things that don't add value. Or mm. They don't really focus on the future. But for right now, I'm just like, mm. I don't want to have my life in someone's hands that thinks like that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So obviously you want a man to lead. You're not really leading me anywhere. So. Mm. I hear that. Yeah. I feel like the way the market... like that, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to keep up to date with all of our releases. And tune into the whole episode now on Spotify and Apple.